Joining me now from Brighton, Colorado, former state chairman of the Colorado Republican Party and congressional candidate for Colorado District 6, Steve House. Steve, you're running against a guy who happens to be Adam Schiff's left-hand man. Uh, this Congressman Crow, Jason Crow, he's one of the impeachment managers trying to undo the election results of 2016 and affect the election results of 2020. Does Colorado 6, do the folks of Colorado 6 approve of what Jason Crow is doing in the well of the United States Senate right now? I don't think so. I mean, I think ultimately we'll find out in November, but it's a fairly moderate district, always held by a Republican. I don't think they like what he's doing at all. And so are you hearing this from constituents at all when you go out and, and, and you, you work the district? Yeah, when he was named an impeachment manager, the number of volunteers and donations that came pouring into us um, went up pretty dramatically, to be honest. And so you're running in a purple state, right? I guess we call Colorado a purple state that maybe is on its way to turning blue. You're a registered Republican. How do you pull it off? How, how do you win in that kind of environment? Well, you, first of all, you have a district that has always been Republican. It's the first time it's ever been held by Democrat was Crow's victory in 2018. Um, I think for a lot of the district, it's moderate. He ran as a moderate. Now he's shown himself to be a liberal, in fact, farther left even than we expected. I think the district electing Mike Kaufman, the former congressman, as mayor of Aurora, and not only elected him, but the conservative votes in that mayor's race, a city in which Mike never won when he was running for Congress, he then wins the mayor's race in 2019. I think that's a strong indication of where the district is. Colorado District 6, so folks know, is effectively east of Denver, if you will. Right. I think it includes uh, Aurora. This guy Crow, Congressman Crow, if you look at his voting record, he's had on, on budget and taxes, 15 votes on budget and taxes, all 15 votes against the Constitution, against liberty. In other words, He's voting against tax cuts, for example. Do you consider yourself uh, fiscally conservative? Definitely. In fact, I would tell you that I think Jason Crow's the fifth member of the squad, to be honest with you. Um, he votes so closely with them, but I am absolutely a fiscal conservative. And so would you be in favor, for example, of uh, some sort of amendment or at least a law that would require a balanced budget, just like we do at home, we balance our budgets, that, that, that the Congress needs to balance its budget every year? I think that absolutely we need to do that. I think there's going to be an interim step, um, something like a debt break like they do in Switzerland and other countries on our way to a balanced budget. We've got to get there. How uh, you're, you're a, a rule of law kind of guy, it seems like. Um, sure. I, 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 it, on your website, it looks like you, you understand the workings of our Constitution. Yet on your website, you're in support of unconstitutional DACA. How, how do you square that? I'm not really in support of anything unconstitutional. My concern with DACA is we need to do something about it. It's just been sitting there for a long time. It's unresolved. We have a pretty high Hispanic population in Colorado. And frankly, when you talk to them, they're not all looking for citizenship. They're just looking for a way to move past the question marks and the problems. So while I don't support wholesale deporting children who came here when they were two years of age, I don't think we should let it lie the way it is either. We've got to fix this thing. And so what do you do between now and your primary to, to wrap this thing up and, and, and try and garner it? Because you're going to have to get some Democrat votes eventually, one way or another, to outright win the seat. How do you do it? Well, actually, in this particular seat, you've got about a 30-30 split, Democrats and Republicans, 40% unaffiliated. There's right. about 30, 31,000 unaffiliated voters that voted for Mike Kaufman twice mm -hmm. and then voted for Jason Crow, and that was the margin of victory. We've got to get the unaffiliated voters, especially the moderate ones, to come back our way. House for Colorado, that's the website. House that's correct. for Colorado.com if you'd like more information and maybe help out the House. Steve, good luck and thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.